After I spent $8,000 of my own money on small gun safes, I tested the biometrics, I found deadly design flaws, I tested long-term reliability, and a couple of safes broke all by themselves. And then I probably tested over 10 small gun safes to see just how tough they really are. And with all that, these are my top gun safe picks. This is the King Fort Knox PB1 Multi-Gun Safe. Main features, when I lock my gun in a little tank of a safe, I want to know I can get it out. That's why I'm 100% sold on the Cobb by Simplex push button lock. And it's not cheap all by itself as you can see here. Plus Fort Knox has a lifetime warranty and are made in the USA. And now onto my pry rating. I tried to pry into this little tank and as you can see here with my PB1 model, I can tell you this, my pry tools are pretty much useless. Even if I could get some pry leverage, you're now dealing with thick 10 gauge steel and this massive steel bolt. I base my top tier rating system on how Fort Knox safes are designed and built. The Fort Knox gets a 5 out of 5 pry rating. Now my quick access rating. If my life is on the line, I don't want batteries or electronics to worry about. I want a 100% mechanical safe. And that's why my Fort Knox is my personal bedside safe. The push button lock is fast and easy to use and it's just going to work for years to come. The Fort Knox earns a 5 out of 5 quick access rating. Final thought, Fort Knox safes are my go-to vehicle safes. Neither extreme cold or heat will affect these little tanks. This is the Vault-Tec VS10i Smart Safe. Main features, four ways to access safe, biometric fingerprint or through vault -Tec's app, number pad or mechanical key. And there is an optional nano smart key as you can see here. The safe features an automatic opening lid, interior light, and a rechargeable battery that lasts up to four to six months. Also comes with a steel tether cord for quick securement and has two pre drilled holes for permanent placement. And now onto my prior rating. The VS10i is made from 18 gauge high carbon steel unibody construction. With its two locking latches and anti pry design, even with its thinner 18 gauge steel construction, this safe is going to be a problem to pry into. These are well made and designed little safes. The VS10i gets a 5 out of 5 pry rating. Now my quick access rating. The biometrics pass both my wet and powder tests as you can see here. The biometrics open in just one second flat. You also have the number pad and key backup. The vault -Tec VS10i gets a 5 out of 5 quick access rating. Final thought, my vault -Tec VS20i has been 100% reliable. You can count on this brand to open when you need it to. This is the Century Biometric Gun Safe. Main features, it's built super damn tough, taking over 23 minutes of full force pry attack with stage 3 tools. Not in a million years did I ever think it would be this tough, just with one locking latch. The Century Safe features a gas strut to help lift and lower that heavy steel lid. Enter the safe with either the biometrics, electronic number pad, or mechanical key. And now onto my pry rating. Take a look at just how much damage this way under $200 safe took. This little safe gives you real pry protection. I have the full pry test on my channel if you wanted to see just how tough this safe is. The Century Safe earns a 4 out of 5 pry rating. Now my quick access rating. I tested my Century Safe for over 3 years without any issues, and even though it took a lot of damage, it still registers my fingerprint to this day as you can see here. The biometrics are also more secure than my $300 vault Tech, and it passed my wet and powder tests. What's not to like here? The Century Safe earns a 5 out of 5 quick access rating. Final thought, I would say this is more than just a gun locker. It's truly a tiny safe. Century is my top budget brand. This is the Hornady Rapid Gun Safe. Main features, three ways of entry. First is with the RFID cards or RFID wristband. You can also access the safe with the electronic number pad or mechanical key. And as you can see here, there are three different sizes to choose from and all feature a strong automatic opening lid and come with a steel security cable for on-the-go securement. There are also pre-drilled holes for permanent mounting. You can power the Hornady safes with permanent AC or battery power or just use the mechanical key. And now onto my pry rating. From the two Hornady safes I bought and tested now over three years ago, they are well built with 14 gauge steel construction and hardened steel latches. I also performed a hardness test as you can see here on the latches of my AR gun locker, and they are hardened still. From the build of these safes, I will give the Hornady Rapid safes a four out of five pry rating. Now my quick access rating. My Hornady safes have been 100% reliable. The RFID systems work great, and you have the number pad or key for backup. The Hornady gets a four out of five quick access rating. Final thought, Hornady safes biggest weakness is the barrel key lock, but in real life I'm more worried about reliably getting my handgun from a locked box or pry attacks that do happen in real life, but I was easily able to replace the lock on my Hornady gun locker, and now the lock picking perverts are no longer interested in my safe. This is the budget biometric all safe. Main features. I wanted to hate this all safe, but my biometrics worked 100% even after two years. But there was a recall as some all safe biometrics were just letting any fingerprint in. But I guess they fixed this problem and now they're back. There are better safes without biometrics, but if you have to have a biometric budget safe, then I guess the all safe will do the trick. And now onto my pry rating. They say a pry resistant lid, and that's not exactly true, but surprisingly it took 3 minutes and 82 seconds with stage 3 tools. Not bad for its price. The all safe gets a 3 out of 5 pry rating. Now my quick access rating. This was the fastest to open biometric safe I tested with just 4 tenths of a second to open. And the biometrics performed okay on my white powder test. And even after a couple years of trouble free use, there was also no battery drain issues, like I have had on other budget brands. The all safe gets a 3.5 out of 5 quick access rating. Final thought, for around 100 bucks, it performed well. But then again, don't be surprised by any recalls. 
This is V-Line's push button gun safe. Main features, this V-Line safe has enough room for a 1911 or two compact handguns as you can see here. This safe is my standard for 100% quick access and that is thanks to its mechanical simplex push button lock. Made from 16 gauge steel with pry resistant clamshell lid that extends completely over the sides of the safe. Also has four pre-drilled mounting holes for permanent placement. V-Line safes are made in the USA. And now onto my pry rating. It may only be 16 gauge steel but with V-Line's clamshell design and continuous hinge and when bolted down the V-Line is pretty much pry attack proof. The V-Line gets a 5 out of 5 pry rating. Now my quick access rating. The simplex lock is also made in the USA and it's not cheap all by itself. Simplex locks are easy to reprogram and even easier to use. This is the lock I use for my personal quick access gun safe. With no batteries or electronics to worry about and even better no keyhole to pick open, these push button locks simply can't be beat. The V-Line gets a 5 out of 5 quick access rating. Final thought, I've had my V-Line safe for over 3 years and after spending $8,000 on different small safes, which ones do I believe will still be working in 50 years, this V-Line would be one of those safes. How I rate stuff. I know it looks like I rate everything highly, but I really did spend $8,000 on these small safes. All put on my credit cards, and then I get no views on YouTube. All right, enough about my suffering. So let's start with the curious case of the Bill Conch. Uh. This locker would lock down in place with your right hand, as you can see here. But with only one small tap in the middle of the lid, it would open all by itself. I even thought it might have been possessed by Satan, but that actually turned out not to be the case. You have to press down in the middle of the lid to lock the lid down as there are two locking latches with this locker. And trust me, that's one deadly design. Now onto the pry test. The build conch was tougher than I thought it would be with this sheet metal build. And as you can see here, the two locking latches broke off into the body, but they did detach from the sheet metal lid. The build conch got a two and a half out of five pry rating. Now here is the RPMB lockbox with only one tiny locking latch, as you can see here. By the way, if you ever see this tiny locking latch design, it's probably not going to be a tough locker. Anyway, here is the full pry test. And there you go, 8 seconds to pry open. The RPMB got a 1 out of 5 pry rating. This list is not in order because I wanted to show this Scythe lockbox as it has a similar latch design as the RPMB. It was a little tougher and took 1 minute and 8 seconds to a stage 1 pry tools. The Scythe got a 2 out of 5 pry rating. And here is the RPMB single pistol locker. Side note, this locker would drain its batteries as it sat. This is not good and was the only locker to have battery drain issues. And here is the full pry test. And that's another 1 out of 5 pry rating for RPMB. Let's move up half a rating from the RPMB with the Onias. The Onias looks just like the Ananas. I'm just going to call it the Anus for now on. They do look the same, but they are not 100% the same. And here is the Anus test. Starting with stage 1. So let's see how fast we get in here. The anus just popped open in 13 seconds with stage 1 pry tools. And here is the Anias test. So that one took 35 seconds and actually bent the lid. The Onias earned a 1.5 out of 5 pry rating. And here is the only cheap brand that stood out, even though it was recalled for its biometrics. But I do believe Allsafe has fixed the biometric issues as of now. I really thought I was going to get in fast and easy with this under $100 safe. But as you can see here, it does have a nice size single locking latch. And to my surprise, it took 3 minutes and 82 seconds with level 3 pry tools. And so there is my 3 out of 5 pry rating. Now we move to a stage 4 rating, the Sentry Safe. You will need to go to my channel and find the full test because it took 23 minutes and 47 seconds with stage 3 pry tools. That was not fun or easy, trust me. So what is a stage 5 rating? Pretty much means pry attacks aren't going to work. Here is my Fort Knox PB1. The design alone prevents any possibility to pry into as you can see here. Stage 5 is pretty much angled around your territory. And there you go, my 1 out of 5 pry rating system. Until next time, see you then.